All right, finding the domains of logarithmic functions. Whenever we're finding these domains, what you really need to remember is that whatever is being plugged into the function, what's inside the set of parentheses, needs to be positive. So if it needs to be positive, a math way to say that is whatever's on the inside has to be greater than zero. So we'll simply set it greater than zero, solve this inequality down by subtracting three from both sides. So we get to x is greater than negative three. As an interval, that's gonna be negative three to infinity, but you leave out the negative three. It's not okay to plug in negative three. You're not allowed to have zero inside of a logarithm. Okay, moving down, we have log base five of x minus two with a plus one on the outside. This plus one on the outside, that's gonna be a vertical transformation. So we're not worried about that. Again, we're just worried about whatever's on the inside has to be greater than zero. It has to be positive. So adding two, moving it to the other side, we'd have to say we can only use x values greater than two. In interval notation, that goes two to infinity, exclude the two. All right, moving up here to the right, we have log, the common log of five minus two x. Again, five minus two x, whatever's on the inside there has to be greater than zero. A little bit of solving down here, you can either move the two over, uh, the two x over or the five over. Let's move the five to the other side by subtracting them. Subtracting something won't change the sign on our inequality, but then we need to divide by negative two to get x all by itself. As we divide or multiply by a, a negative, that's gonna switch the sign on our inequality. So it goes from a greater than sign to a less than sign. And we have five halves or 2.5 on the right-hand side. As an interval, this is gonna go negative infinity to five halves leave out both of the ends. All right, open brackets or parentheses as opposed to closed brackets, meaning this is excluded as opposed to included. Okay, log of x minus five with a plus two. Again, that plus two on the outside, we're not worried about. Instead, the x minus five, we simply have to make sure that's positive or greater than zero. Add five, move it to the other side. X value is only greater than five in interval notation, five to infinity. And last one here, we have log base four of two X minus three. And the base doesn't really matter on these when we're looking at the domain. So two X minus three, greater than zero. On this one, we're gonna add the three, divide both sides by two in interval notation. Rather inequality notation, this is X is greater than three halves. In interval notation, that means three halves to infinity, leave out the end endpoints um, with open brackets. Hope this helps out as you're trying to find the domain of logarithmic functions. It's not that bad. Set up the inequality, solve them.